Hey guys, so this is a bit of a different video. I'm making this picture for my boyfriend Christian. It's two of his Dungeons and Dragons characters, and I didn't film the sketching and inking because I wasn't initially planning on recording it for YouTube, but I was liking how it turned out, so I was like, hey, what the heck, I'll record the coloring. And I actually have Christian here with me, and I thought he would explain a little bit about the characters, like who they are, their bios, just, just a bit of information about them so you know who they are. So go ahead, Christian. Okay, uh, the first character Bailey's currently coloring right now is called Aquilo. Aquilo is a elf assassin. Uh, he is the incarnation of evil itself. He actually has a devil chilling on his shoulder. The devil's name is Dirty Boy. Uh, Dirty Boy was so amused with how evil Aquilo was that he decided to hang out with him and follow him on his murderous rampages throughout the lands. Uh, they are both my characters are related. They are brothers. Although the two gameplays I'm playing are about 150 years apart. So, elves, long life, that kind of stuff. Uh, he currently wears uh, black armor and has some red on it too. It was given to him by Dirty Boy, the devil, in a gambling game that he won. You want to go from there? Okay, so that's pretty much Aquila, who's an elf, and then there's his brother, the other guy you didn't really expect anything about him. I mean, I'm not really there coloring him yet, but you can explain it. Alright, here we go. And the other character doesn't actually have a name. Uh, he's just known as the Ranger. Uh, he is a half-elf and was raised in a bunch of woods by one of the major settlements. Uh, since he doesn't really like people, he doesn't ever keep one name. Each city he goes to knows him by a different name. And so it's really fun to play with him because all the characters have no idea what to call that guy. So. He's just been dubbed the Ranger. Uh, he is a chaotic good character, and he is currently being uh, slowly taken over by some arm pieces of army he's gathering in his quest. So eventually he is going to probably cease to exist and be completely replaced by the spirit of the army he's gathering. Otherwise he's a pretty stereotypical D&D character, strives to be good, but often gets himself into ridiculous situations. And you want to maybe just mention their weapons briefly too? Sure. Uh, Aquilo uses bladed, bladed gauntlets. Uh, these are hidden compartments, so or hidden blades I should say. So people won't know that he's about to kill them until he draws the blades out and goes in for the swipe strike. And Aquilo uses twin scimitars and a longbow. Cool. Anything else you want to add about your characters or anything? Not that I can think of at this point in time. Alright, thank you Christian for your commentary. Cool, cool. All right, so those are pretty good descriptions by Christian. I don't think I really have much to add in terms of the drawing itself. I mean, it's just my usual Copic markers on Expressive Blending card. I guess one thing I did do a little bit differently is I used a sepia liner because, I don't know, I just felt like it, this picture needed more of an earthy tone. And it's weird because even though Aquilo's outfit is mostly black, I still wanted to go with sepia. And it's cool is the lines kind of disappear so you don't notice them as much. And it gives a cool effect because sometimes I like really bold line art and sometimes I like it to be a little more subtle. So it's cool going with sepia sometimes. And this little dude, I didn't even, oh, <laughs> it's cut off. But um, I think my camera stopped recording when I did that guy. But I just layered some oranges and reds. And then I, I added some dark grays for his shadows. I tried to make him look evil. Aquilo could have looked more evil since he's supposed to be super, super evil. I didn't know off the bat that he was really evil so then I tried to tweak it after Christian told me that to make him look I don't know a little bit mean but <laughs> I probably didn't get enough evilness into his personality or anything but meh, it's still pretty cool I also like how he's kind of he kind of jumps out of the page because once we get to the background you'll see that there's a lot of browns and blues and greens in the picture and then it's like BAM red for Dirty Boy and Aquilo, so it's kind of like, I didn't really balance out the red by adding red on the other side of the page because I didn't know what I could do, so I was like, eh, he's just gonna kind of pop out and be really noticeable, I guess. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, and by the way, the texture of this armor, if you're thinking it doesn't really look metallic or anything, Christian said it's leather. Is it leather for both? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I thought. Because they have leather armor, so that's why it doesn't look metallic or anything like that. I didn't want to make it look too shiny. And I did base this off of uh, descriptions Christian gave me, and he also sent me some reference photos to kind of go off of, so I had to use a bit of my imagination too and just sort of 
put everything together and I'd, I'd get his approval I'd show him the sketches and be like anything you want to change because I felt like I don't know if it's just hard when you're drawing something that has to be like someone's specific character design but there's no existing reference to go off of you just kind of have to go with it but Christian likes it so yay um, I think I'm gonna stop talking about the picture and move on to just general stuff updates about my channel all that kind of stuff so my art store has been closed since before Christmas and it's probably gonna stay closed for a while because I'm completely redoing it I'm just kind of revamping it and adding all new artwork and I don't have any existing artwork to put up because I want to get a whole bunch of new prints made I want to get some original art up there and just all new merch pretty much I'm taking down everything that's already up there and putting up new stuff so that's not gonna be up for a few months at least so it kind of sucks I'd like to get it up a bit earlier but I have so much art to do for it but on the subject of that I now have more time for art because actually my boss reduced my hours at work which is actually awesome because I was gonna ask him if I could go part-time but I was kind of nervous and then he just offered me part-time he's like yeah things are kind of slow right now so can you work part-time and I was like yes yes so I only work two days a week now, so I have a lot more time for YouTube, and I'm also cutting back on my daily vlogs, because I, yeah, they're daily, as daily vlogs implies, <laughs> and I'm only going to do weekly vlogs from now on, so there'll be one vlog uploaded per week, and I just really, really want to focus on my art channel and on art in general and just get a lot more done per week than I currently do, and I'm also want to practice digital art and... I recently got a subscription to Imagine FX, and I've got other tutorials at my disposal, and I just want to, you know, just, just really focus on improving my art skills, so yay. Uh, what else? Convention coming up, because not only am I doing prints for my art store, I'm doing a completely separate set of prints for conventions. The difference is the convention stuff is mostly fan art. I mean, there might be a couple things that go in my online store, but um, there's not going to be a whole lot for fan art in the store. So. Yes, and the convention is Northwest Fan Fest. I did not get into Anime Revolution because I missed their Artist Alley application. <laughs> so I'm, I'll be at Northwest Fan Fest 2015. And so, yay, I've got to do a lot of work for that too. And I'm also considering setting up a Patreon in the future. I don't have many details about that yet because I haven't actually started setting it up. But just kind of like a heads up if you were into Patreon and getting cool rewards back and supporting artists and stuff like that that is coming and I think that is basically it but I just feel like I'm in such a better mood about my art lately I'm like yes I have more time to practice more time to improve and just really put the focus I want to put in into my art channel like for example just making a new banner I've been wanting to make a new banner for so long I still don't have an intro I don't know when that's gonna get done because I'm gonna redo the banner and end slate first um, just all kinds of things and that need to get done on all my social network websites and just you know you know I feel like I've been behind and I'm finally catching up and I'm feeling really positive and excited and motivated yeah it's gonna be great I just feel like 2015 is gonna be great in terms of art and all that so woohoo and I got a new camera and a new setup if you saw my how I set up my camera video I just uploaded a new one I've got a fancier camera and fancy lights, so yay, things are just looking real good right now. So yeah, getting to the end of the video, so I guess I'll end it here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.